very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking we are always very proud and happy to share our results from the extreme trader forex signals group on telegram and as you can see this is the group itself and look at all these signals that we have sent recently very small losses against big profits has been made for the members last friday and tuesday uh, thursday as you can see uh, all of the signals have actually reached the take profit number one at least some of them take profit number two and three pound usd 120 pips of profit pound and zd 60 pips of profit this was really one great very amazing week and i'm very proud of it and we have received tons of messages as you can see this guy here He's saying in 15 trading days, he have actually made 105% of his account and he started with $176 only and right now he has $362 and this gentleman here also he's saying that he has doubled his account in just one week. Amazing, outstanding, this is really what I like to see. You're simply the best, thank you very much. And here, uh, this guy here, he's saying, I'm going to renew for three months after this one because he trusts the service and he's really enjoying the profits that he's making because of our Forex signals. Loving the new 70 pips tip, tip, uh, TPs. Good job, guys. And so many messages, messages. I mean, guys, we cannot show them all here. However, you can check the, free, the messages on the free group and you can look at the feedbacks from the premiums group uh, clients. Uh, $530 of profit that has just been made in just one day. That's close to 10 months of subs uh, subscription earned in just one day. Really fantastic. And I'm very happy for the clients. And I wish them to continue receiving these uh, amazing signals and to continue gaining the profits. So if you wish to join Ex Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So let's now begin the weekly analysis and before we start also we need to keep in our mind what's going on so far with the COVID-19 cases and the second wave which seems like it's gonna, gonna hit Europe uh, in the upcoming weeks. Actually right now Europe has announced uh, an upcoming uh, lockdown which seems coming very soon especially that countries which have the economic lease for Europe such as France, England and Germany they are having really high number of cases right now and it's most likely that these countries is gonna, uh, are going to actually announce uh, an upcoming lockdown, which is, of course, going to affect the euro currency. There, that being said, we can now expect from the euro USD to actually continue the fall after hitting the resistance on 1.19071. Uh, sorry, 1.19017. So right now, what happened here with the euro USD is we can notice here on the daily candles that the bear has actually made the bear, the bullish breakout candle from this resistance trend line. However, and be, uh, based on my knowledge and what's going on with the market, uh, the euro USD is actually after the retest here is going to continue the rise and it's actually going to hit that previous strong resistance level on 1.19017. And after that, euro USD should be good for the short and we can expect from the pair to continue the fall again and it's going to retest the broken support level on 1.17285. That being said, this week we can look for shorting the euro USD at the level 1.19017 and the safe zone of course is going to be ranging until the top of the resistance level right here. So we are talking about, let me just reduce that a little bit because again we are analyzing on the daily candles so we're talking about almost 50 pips of the safe zone which is fair enough and let me just draw for you this the edge of the safe zone just like that and the target as i said before is going to be the support level right here where the market is expected to fall until it reaches this level and after that we can see what will going to happen with the market and from my point of view I believe the market is even going to exceed that support level and it's going to continue falling all the way to retest that uh, strong key support level on 1.16745. However, uh, on daily candles, uh, we are, that means we are talking about maybe up to two weeks of analysis. So therefore, let's just keep our expectation until that support level right here. So the take profit level is going to be 1.17496. So again, hopefully it's going to be a good signal and we will make good profits out of it. Now looking at the pound USD. 
now if we look at the pound UST we can notice here on the daily candle that the pair is right now ranging at that support uh, sorry at that resistance zone as we can see right here and it seems like the pair is not actually able to make the breakout even when we saw here a bullish breakout candle on daily candles uh, from that resistance the pair went down to retest the broken resistance and we, we were hoping for that support to become a new support however the retest has failed and that means the pair is actually going to continue the bearish momentum after rising a little bit more to retest the broken resistance and then it's going to continue the fall all the way if I'm not mistaken to hit the strong support level on 1.128720 so on daily candles let's now move to the four hour time frame and that price action right here indicating a bearish reversal and seems like the resistance on 1.30245 is now being retested and the pair is going to continue the rise as i said before it's going to hit the peak of the resistance right here and then the pair is going to continue the fall all the way to the support level so that being said also we can start shorting the pound usd at the level 1.30808 and the safe zone should actually re be ranging inside that resistance level so let me just get rid of that uh, zone which I have drawn earlier and let me just draw for you the new safe zone uh, area which should be actually right here until the top of the resistance so we are talking about a safe zone of almost 43 pips let me just increase that a little bit more just to be safe and be sure of course so the safe zone should be ranging for 70 uh, uh, sorry for 47 pips only and the target as i said is gonna be that support level right here so the target is actually aiming 192 pips of profit hopefully we will make them all 1.28862 uh, that's the analysis for the pound usd and hopefully also it's gonna work well let's now look at the aud usd now the first look at the AUD USD, we can see that the pair has actually made the retest of the broken uh, resistance level right here the pair has actually made the bro uh, the retest of the broken resistance and that support level has actually kept its position as a support and seeing this resistance trend line we can see that the pair is actually respecting this level and what we can understand right now that the pair is actually gonna reverse at that support level and it's going to continue the rise all the way until it hit the peak or the top of the resistance trend line and then it's going to continue the fall now from the first look actually we can see on the price action that the pair has actually made here what seems like a bearish breakout uh, sorry a bearish uh, reversal price action however this candle which has appeared last uh, or the or the evening of friday indicating a continuation of the uh, of the rise because if this candle here was red we can expect from the pair to continue the fall right away however this uh, this blue candle here has actually changed the game and it means that the pair has reversed on that support and uh, the buyer is right now pushing the market however we can expect from seeing here the resistance number one the pair is going to continue the rise to create a resistance number two and also it's going to reverse at the resistance trend line that's going to be actually really a good moment to start shorting the AUD UST. so we will start short the pair at 0 0.71733 and this time the safe zone shouldn't be really ranging for quite long time or sorry it shouldn't be ranging for uh, many pips because if the pair is actually going to make the bullish breakout candle from that resistance it means that it has actually made the bullish breakout from the resistance trend line as well and it's going to continue the rise until hitting that resistance level and then it's going to uh, fall again to retest the broken resistance trend line to become a new support trend line what i'm trying to say is if the pair is actually going to make the bullish breakout candle it's going to continue rising for at least 64 pips uh, which is really uh, we want to avoid that so therefore um, the safe zone is going to be ranging only for let me see 24 pips not that much I mean let's make it a little bit more just like that yes perfect so the safe zone should be ranging only for 34 pips no more it doesn't really worth it to make it higher than that and I'm gonna draw for you the edge of the safe zone and this time the, the target is gonna be the support level right here that key support level right here is gonna be our target 
um, because the, the pair actually gonna, gonna continue fall actually lower than that level but I feel it's more safe to set this level here as a take profit so therefore the take profit level is gonna be 0 0.70617 again hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and we will make some good profits out of it now let's check the USD CAD USD CAD is now approaching a strong support level and as we can see the pair has actually made a continuation on uh, the fall respecting that resistance trend line however what we can see right here is that the pair is now getting trapped inside a channel let me show you and remember I'm on the daily candles as we can see right here like that the pair seems like it's gonna uh, uh, getting it's getting trapped inside this channel I have drawn here so therefore we can expect from the USD CAD actually to continue fall a little bit more to hit that strong support that was a support number one that support right here is a support number one and that is the bullish breakout candle from that resistance therefore and seeing this pattern we can understand that the USD CAD should be good for the buy after reaching that support level so it's gonna create support number two and then we can keep the trade running until it hit that previous resistance again so what we're having right here is a resistance because here we had a support try to understand guys that I'm analyzing right now on the daily candles so on the daily candles each candle represents of course one day so we need to understand this here this tail here represent a support this strong or huge red candle representing a breakout and these three candles here representing a resistance number one what I'm saying is the pair is going to continue the fall create support number two and then it's going to continue the rise to create resistance number two and then it's going to be good for the sell however the pair right now seems good for the buy after hitting that support uh, support level so we have to wait for the pair to fall for another 35 pips before it's going to be good for the buy so therefore USD CAD is good for the buy at 1.30890 just like that and the safe zone should be ranging until that next support level so we are talking about almost 42 pips I'm going to just drag it a little bit more down that's fair enough so for almost 48 pips only and let me draw for you the edge of the safe zone as well just like that and this time the target is actually gonna be my friends if the pair is actually gonna make the break the massive breakout uh, from this resistance trend line it's gonna continue to rise until hit that resistance level on 1.32370 and after that it's gonna fall again to retest the broken resistance trend line therefore that should be actually our target just like that because here as I said the pair is gonna reverse after hitting that level so we are looking for almost 141 pips of profit hopefully we will make them so take profit is 1.32310 that's uh, gonna be our signal for the USD CAD and hopefully it's gonna be accurate now looking at the USD JPY USD JPY in a, in a condition which is really very similar to the USD, J, uh, USD CAD because the pair right now is at the a zone of a strong support level and currently we don't see any reason for the pair to break out from that resist uh, from that support uh, zone especially knowing that currently there are um, the the the, co the commercial war between United States and China is quite uh, is actually quiet right now and we don't see any announcements so far so we cannot really expect from the pair to break out from that support trend line only thing we can expect from the USD GPY is to the bullish reversal therefore it's better to have a safe entry and we will have to wait for the USD GPY to fall for another 38 pips uh, before we start buying the pair at 104.344 and the safe zone is going to be ranging actually a little bit below that support let me just change this uh, zone here how many pips is that that's a lot uh, we need to reduce it actually uh, actually the pair shouldn't be really exceeding that support level so therefore I'm gonna select this as my safe zone just like that because if the pair has actually reached that level uh, of the edge of the safe zone most likely it's gonna meaning that the pair is actually gonna continue the bearish uh, fall 
which is really not seems to gonna not seems like it's gonna happen at the at this point here and therefore since we place the buy order right here we can expect from the pair to continue the rise to hit that resistance which was a resistance number one and we can expect from the pair to rise to hit resistance number two or to create resistance number two so the take profit level is going to be 105.475 hopefully also we'll make some good profits out of it now looking at the USDCHF, USDCHF also is approaching a very strong support level and it's very clear to me that the, the pair is now facing a support number two because right here we can see support number one and if we look at the left we can see that we only had here a bullish breakout candle from that support and it was also a strong resistance in the past so therefore we can expect from the pair to just hit that support level again and then again gonna continue the rise to retest the resistance level on 0 0.9210 therefore we will have to wait for the USTCHF to fall for another 38 pips before it's gonna be valid for the buy therefore buying on 0 0.8994 actually I think this is gonna be the best level to start buying the pair and the safe zone should be ranging of course uh, for no more than 50 pips let me just draw for you the safe zone as you can see the pair is um, when I zoom out when I zoom in sorry I cannot really see the other uh, side of the edge of the safe zone so therefore I'm just I'm just gonna have to do it like that let me pause the recording to safer time so there goes your signal for the UST CHF uh, the target is gonna be the resistance as I said and uh, the safe zone is gonna be ranging for exactly 50 pips no more on weekly candles we can see that and it's gonna be as I did before almost 50 pips yes so hopefully it's also gonna be a good signal and we will make some good profits out of it now let's discuss the gold now from what I see here on the gold the gold is actually getting trapped as I said before on this channel I think I think I have said that on the last weekly analysis and since we can see that the gold here trapped on this channel and let's analyze the gold together let me delete this so from what we can see right here we had here uh, previously a, a resistance trend line and we can see that the gold has actually made what seems like a bullish breakout candle from that resistance trend line so it seems like the gold is actually going to continue the rise especially knowing that right now it's um, on a strong or actually a major uh, support level the pair is actually not able to break out from that support yet um, we were actually expecting from the gold to continue the fall however the news about the lockdown of Europe and um, the election of the elections in the United States are actually getting closer and seems like uh, Joe Biden is actually uh, having the head of the voting in the United States so therefore the gold seems like it's having some good days and it's gaining some profits and I think the gold is going to continue the rise until it hit the resistance level on let me just show you right here um, exactly right here 1960 is our target actually for the gold because as I said the the gold is actually seeing a good days and if the pair has actually made the bullish breakout candle or sort of break out from that resistance trend line here we can expect from the pair to continue the rise until hitting that resistance at least before falling down to retest the, the broken resistance on 1930 so therefore if we look at the four hour time frame we can see that a lot of rejections on that the level of 1893 look at all these tails here the rejection was really strong and the pair seems like it's not gonna able to break out from that level so therefore that's why I believe the gold this week is gonna be for the bullish and is gonna continue the rise that being said let's set where we can start actually buying the pair and I'm gonna select uh, a safe zone or a safe level to start buying the pair as much as possible because uh, last two weeks uh, the gold signal is actually working well however it's not holding the position for the whole week um, 
If I'm not mistaken and correct me guys if I'm wrong, the gold signals uh, for the past two weeks were going in the right direction for one or two days but however on Wednesday or Thursday it's actually heading on the other way and of course it's not my fault if there is any unexpected news or announcement happened uh, from the leaders especially from Mr. Trump anything he says actually guys can really change the whole direction of the gold so this is the signal for the gold and, and, and right now I'm just drawing for you the edge of the safe zone which is gonna be right here at the support level exactly like this and this is gonna be our target let me, let me just uh, reduce it a little, a little bit like that perfect so the target is gonna be 500 actually almost 600 pips of profit meanwhile the edge of the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 120 pips and again I have to remind everyone to please be extra careful and trade with extra caution when you are trading the gold because um, you know the gold is actually is dangerous to trade guys and one loss can actually cost you a lot if you have entered with big lot size I highly recommend you to use my scalping strategy for the gold on the one minute time frame this way you can earn really a lot of profits and you can avoid lots of losses so that was everything for this weekly analysis and I really hope uh, it's gonna be a very very profitable week for everyone and I'm looking actually for making a lots of profits and hopefully this week I'm gonna make two live trading videos one of them using scalping on the gold for one minute and the other one is 20 pips a day strategy so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching